It's been a part of Elmira's history for more than 150 years. And with the help of donations from the community, a piece of the Elmira Civil War prison camp will be rebuilt on its original grounds. WY's Tanessa Potter has details on the reconstruction and how you can help. The Elmira Civil War prison camp building will sit on these steel beams here. And today marks the first day that rebuilding will begin. The steel framework has been delivered and the men of Spots Construction LLC are ready to begin building. But when using materials that are more than 150 years old, it's complicated. Typical construction, everyone knows what they're doing. In this case, you pretty much have to find the board that's going to go next. So it's going to be a little more of a puzzle. The crew will be using the original wood and antique square nails to try and reconstruct one of the buildings used in the prison camp that held more than 12,000 Confederate soldiers. Like in 1865, they won't be using power tools to make the two-story 16 by 20 foot building. Not a huge building, but it's got such historic value that it's, uh, it's well worth rebuilding. The previous building was dismantled 27 years ago and has been in storage at the Elmira Water Board pumping station on Windsor Ave. In April, Elmira City Council approved the Friends of the Elmira Civil War Prison Camp to use the land next door to house the building. The project originally started a year and a half ago, but financial issues have delayed the start of the build. It's been rather tedious, uh, time consuming, and much more challenging uh, and financially challenging, more than we ever anticipated. Which is why the organization is asking for donations. They'll be selling t-shirts at Wisner Market, and anyone who donates $250 or more will receive this paperweight with an actual nail removed from the lumber. Since the materials are so old and fragile, the builders expect the project to take a while to build. They say if all goes according to plan and the money is coming in, they could have it up by October. Reporting in Elmira, Samantha Potter, WENY News.